Privet. I'm Chuck Olenek, a Ukrainian-American baptized with the name Yaroslav, and that's also the name I use in the Society for Creative Anachronism, where I'm known as Yaroslav the Persistent. I've been wading through all sorts of research on Eastern European and Slavic folklore and mythology and culture, and one of the areas I kind of stumbled into was the use of proverbs and comparing them with proverbs in English and that sort of thing. But I found that like throwing in proverbs from your persona's culture kind of adds a little flavor to what you're doing in the society. So I thought I would share some more of these. I think I've done three videos about proverbs. There's a lot more I can wade through, but hey, let's get started. These are proverbs about warnings, wisdom, and lessons. A man is judged by his deeds, not by his words. Okay, that's simple enough. Or you could say, big of the body, but small of his deeds. Or getting into a measurement that was used in Kievan Rus and in Russia. A bag of words, but a vershok of deeds. Or a vershok away from sin, just to continue using the measurement. Cut down the tree that you're able to. You need a sharp axe for a tough bow. Do not cut the bow you're sitting on. One does not sharpen axes after the right time after the time they are needed. Every seed knows its time, basically all in good time. Or, there will come a time when the seed will sprout. God gives to those who get up early. If you're being given something, take it. But if you're being beaten, run. If you know too much, you'll get very old very quickly. Or another way to say it is, the less you know, the more soundly you will sleep. Work isn't a wolf. It won't go running into the forest. It's a bad workman who has a bad saw. Or, to kind of bring a connection to the Olympics that just passed, it's a poor dancer who's impeded by his own balls. The one who draws a cart is urged on, meaning the one who is willing to work is usually given more work than to, to give it to a lazy person. You don't need a whip to urge on an obedient horse. Any fish is good if it's on the hook. Without hard work, one wouldn't even get a fish out of the pond. Better to stumble than to make a slip of the tongue. One who sits between two chairs may easily fall down. Basically, make a decision, choose a path. One does not look for good from good. Stop looking for the best. Or do not look for further good from good. Leave well enough alone. Enough is as good as a feast. And there's another way to say it, let be, or there's a toast in Ukrainian, budmo. Don't go to somebody else's monastery with your own rule book. For those who talk too much, a fly will not get into a closed mouth. Curious Vardrada went to market and her nose was torn off. Basically, stop putting your nose in other people's business. These are about haste makes waste. If you do something in a hurry, you will make people laugh at you. Or, ride slower, you'll get farther. Berry by berry, a basket will be full. No point in throwing punches after a fight. Don't try to teach a learned one. Ah, more Russian measurement stuff. To be seven piads across the forehead means that you're brilliant. 
If you're not seven piads across the forehead, you need a lot of explanations with little words. The appetite comes during the meal. That basically means that once you get started on a job, you get better at it. You can bend an altar tree if you do it gradually. A drop of water will hollow out a stone, or persistence pays off. The scythe ran into a stone. Basically, two people meeting who were a match for each other in cunning or power. Do not measure others by your own arshin. That's like 28 inches. Do not judge others by yourself. Do not apply your own standard or yardstick. Then there's another arshin proverb. If you swallow an arshin, you're being talked about as standing very straight and very still. Work is afraid of a skilled worker. Basically, work goes well when you know what you are doing. If all of us take hold of it together, it won't feel heavy. Yeah. Many hands make light work. Another way to say it, an artel's pot boils denser. A couple of more work-related ones. The end is the crown of any work. And a variation of fighting fire with fire. They use a wedge to knock out a wedge. A couple of variations on the more the merrier. It may be crowded, but everyone is happy. Or, together it's cramped, but part it's boring. It's the still waters that are inhabited by devils. And a last one, everything that is genius is simple. So, shared a few proverbs just to try to get the flavor of a different culture. I hope you stick around and watch the series. I hope you subscribe to the channel because that'd be really cool. Until then, do pobachanya.